My name is Paul Galata. I'm a technology specialist here at Mauser Electronics. I'm here today to talk to you about the Texas Instruments MSP432 Launchpad. It's low power at its best, performance at its core. In addition, they've increased its performance by adding a 32-bit architecture through the ARM Cortex M4F. This is the industry's lowest power Cortex M4 processor. There is no compromise. It is low power and high performance combined into one. Now, let's go take a closer look at the Texas Instrument MSP432 Launchpad. Let's take a closer look now at the Texas Instrument MSP432 Launchpad Development Kit and see what's inside. The kit consists of three major items. The first is the Launchpad Development Kit Quick Starter Guide. It contains a host of useful information about pinouts and what's going on in places that you might be able to look for further information at www.ti.com. The second piece of hardware is this small uh, micro USB cable that interfaces right here on the port to the MSP432 port itself. The first thing that you'll notice on this development kit is the MSP432 itself. The MCU is at the heart of the unit. It's a 48 megahertz MCU that has the industry's lowest power Cortex M4F. It operates at under 100 microamps per megahertz when it's active and in its standby mode operates around 850 nanoamps. It can take a wide supply range voltage of about 1.6 to 3.7 volts and inside of it, it has a high performance A to D converter that operates at about 1 mega samples per second and is 14 bits. It also has a secure MCU environment and is easily portable from the MSP430 designs that most engineers are familiar with when doing low power designs in a TI environment. Now let's step around and take a look at other parts outside of the MCU that are on this board. If we move up to the upper left corner, you'll see another large chip here. This is the onboard emulator. This allows engineers to do various types of programming and debugging through a serial wire interface. And then in this quadrant here, we have the energy trace technology. It captures real-time energy profile information that allows you to export it over to your computer and capture and analyze it. You then have the ability through TI software uh, to have a GUI interface where you can interface and do a whole host of uh, analyzing and design information off that technology. There's a JTAG switch here that allows you to move between onboard emulation and the JTAG uh, connector. There's a reset button. There's a mechanical button that steps through the LED that you can control electronically. And there's the 40 pin booster pack pins that are right outside the MCU. These are plug-in module connectors. TI has a whole host of booster packs that are available separately that help engineers with their applications move forward quickly. You may be doing work with displays perhaps or wireless communication or sensing. All these and more are available from Texas Instruments. As you can see, the MSP432 Launchpad Development Kit is low power at its best, performance at its core, 